sourdough day four. And guess what? We're moving out of sourdough, uh, the starter here. This is what we've been calling the chef. Now we're moving on to Levant. I know, don't, don't lose heart here. You're gonna love it when it's done. There's all these little steps, but they're all little, and you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. Okay, first of all, I wanna show you in here. Look at in there. I don't know, if you're following along, I don't know whether you can see how yours is doing. Look at this, it's almost, now it's kind of turning, it's gotten so fluffy. Look at that, is that beautiful or what? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, because we're gonna add some flour to this, and my container is not big enough. So I'm going to move it into a bowl, the whole, the whole lot of it. Look at that. Oh, it's wonderful. See all that, all those bubbles. See all those beautiful, I'm going to move the here, bowl over so you can see. I'm going to scrape that out, get it all out of there. Everybody into the pool. Okay. Don't right. miss any. No, I'm getting it all. Okay, there we are. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip because I learned the hard way. When you are going to rinse out or clean anything that has this dough on it, you want to let it sit in water for a while because if you go to use a sponge or a washcloth on this, this stuff will glom onto it and you'll never get it out. Well, you can if you wash it, but it's a hassle. What I do is, is I put it in water and let it soak and then I use my hand and get it really whooshed out and then you can wash your utensil. But I have found that if you just let it sit there, and I'm gonna rinse my hand, um, it gets really stiff and really hard to get off. Okay, clean up. All right, so here's my dough. I just got this really cool dough whip hook thing. I'm gonna see if I, if I even like it. Of course, with this particular application, it probably doesn't work all that well. It's not bad, look at that. Looks pretty slick. It does, pretty slick. Okay, so here's the entire batch of the Chef that we've been working on. I'm adding six ounces or, six ounces or one and one quarter cup Again, it's flour of your choice. I'm using, as I said, a bread flour. Okay, that's going to go in. That's one, I'll have it all on down below. It's one and a quarter or six ounces. And now we're just going to get this all incorporated into that chef, which I may need to go to a spoon, I'm not sure. It's very springy is what it is. Just amazing. had a lot of a lot of uh, of you writing in saying you're following along or you're going to do it and I hope you do you know it's 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 really an art it's a I love it it's almost like a hobby for me to to make bread and create different loaves and and I know it's a lot easier to buy a loaf at the store or maybe you don't have the time to make bread but you know if you say I'm gonna just do this and and find that time to work it into maybe a day when you want to just make some... It's a labor of love. It is a labor of love. It truly is. I really love to make bread. I, I, it's funny, I, I don't eat a lot of bread. The um, director seems to pick up the slack, but I just, um, I like it. I just... Uh, Whoever said man does not mm. live by bread alone had <laughs> never met me. Okay, so now you see we have a really, really stiff dough here. See how stiff that is? That's stiff. It's stiff. And what now, we're, we're going to put some uh, plastic wrap over this. And it's going to sit for eight to 10 hours. So no longer are we waiting a full 24. So if you have not started this, you might want to try to work into your schedule the timing. Because this is going to sit, oh, <coughs> director's got a terrible cough. It's going to sit for eight to 10 hours and then uh, it comes out and we have one more small step. Actually, this, this makes sourdough, but there's a couple of steps before we get to sourdough. And what I'm really thinking about doing is the baby steps. And once we have this done, actually going into making our first loaf of bread. And then from there, if you're really interested in going further, we can actually go into full blown sourdough. I think that's what you might do. All right. so. Eight to ten hours. Then we're going to make it. This is now going to be turned into Levan.
And then after this, we will make a loaf of Levan bread. And it's very exciting stuff because it's crispy and it's artisan and it's delicious. Are we done here? I think we're done here. All right, everybody. See you later.